I believe in the idea of emergence that if you have the right people, the right spirit, the right energy, something incredible will emerge. So the vision was to bring together 10 different artists on a 10 by 10 canvas to create a unified concept that really symbolized 10 years of excellence for the India Inclusion Summit. And so we have many different artists who are bringing their own uh, ideas to the forefront. We asked them, what does inclusion mean to you? What is your passion? What do you want to share with the world? People, what they see in gallery is a finished work of art. However, here we are able to experience the artists at work and each one of them, you know, their style, their approach to creating texture, creating details and everything in between. So uh, it is an experience uh, that has to be experienced. <laughs> Bilas, you're going to have competition from this man. Yeah, I know. He's become faster, better than you. <laughs> huh? For me, the fact that we are all in this room itself is a blessing. Now everything else is a bonus, right? The art piece itself is just an excuse for all of us to come together. The artworks that you see over here, they're about our own life stories. It's not just a blend of colors, but we're trying to tell our stories. When all of us are really in touch with our truest self and we can be honest with ourselves and say, this is what I love to do. This is my passion. I'm going to follow that. When, when we all follow our passions and can really create from the heart, that's when this world is at its best. We are all giving the gift that no other person can give. Only you can give that gift. And so I feel like we are sharing those gifts with the world today. Wow, that was the first time I saw that, that was amazing, thank you. <sighs> what does it mean to be fully present, to be thoughtful, to be aware, and to be open? My name is Marco Santini, I'm an interactive artist based in New York City, and I travel the world, talk to thousands of people as an interactive artist, and I do something a little bit different. I step into different worlds, different environments, and I listen. I take pause. Because I ask interactive questions. I try to figure out what is happening in a space. I'll often ask people, what does love mean to you? What inspires you? What does art mean to you? And for this, what does inclusion mean to you? And in that pause, in that time where I'm interacting, I'm creating these spontaneous moments, I turn those words into art. And that's because I believe that we are all creative. See, I define creativity as turning thoughts into actions. 
And we all do that. Every single day we all do that in a very different way. Maybe not with paint. Maybe not with writing a book or with music. But we all take our thoughts. We manifest ideas. And we create them. And so I love to capture that. And it's in that capturing process that brought me here today. And specifically, my love of books. That's how I found my new very good friend, Feroz. I randomly was searching the internet to see what was out there in terms of uh, articles about books, if there was any crazy book fanatics out there like me, and I saw Feroz. And I was amazed by his collection, by his words, and I just blindly reached out to him. I heard back from him almost immediately. We scheduled a call, oh, not even 48 hours later. And when I learned that not only was his love of books powerful, but his whole idea of the India Inclusion Summit, I was blown away. It really spoke to my heart, and I said, we got to do something. And so our first project together uh, was I wanted to blend this idea of East and West. And so I went back and I looked at many different videos over the last uh, 10 years of all the different speakers, and I wanted to hear what they were saying, what the themes that came, you know, came up again and again and again. And from the streets of New York City, I had a canvas on an easel, and I asked people, what does inclusion mean to you? And from the videos based here in India, in addition to the people on the streets, total strangers, I stopped them in their tracks, asked them what inclusion meant to them, and I took all the words and I created a unique piece for Feroz. And after I gave that to him, I saw how much it meant to him, how all the words really created that, that expression of just bringing everyone together, that collaborative art. He told me about this 10-year anniversary. And I said, I've always wanted to visit India. It's been a dream of mine since I was a kid. I believe it's an incredibly colorful, vibrant, energetic, beautiful place. I've had an incredible time here the last few days. And on the spot, he says, we're going to make it happen. And I'm like, don't you need to talk to certain people or figure out the logistics or any? He's like, nope, we're just going to make it happen. And I was like, this is my kind of guy. <laughs> and so that brings us here to today. I don't know if you've seen me, but I've been in the front over here working this entire time. While everyone's been listening and taking in the speeches and the performances, I've been working. Because my goal for today was to capture the energy and the essence that was in this room. I talked to the artists, the volunteers, the people who are here. I heard the speeches, and I wanted to bring that all together into a unified art piece. And that is what we're about to reveal here today, because I believe that you are all the inspiration. I believe that you are all the work in progress. I believe that you are all art. And so with this design here, I started with the India Inclusion Summit logo for the 10th anniversary. And I have what's called a geometric motif. It's a lot of lines and symbols and this idea, but it, it's this glue that brings us all together. Because hidden within there, the, the more you look, the more you will see. Every single one of those words throughout this entire conference was said in some context. And the reason I do this, I'm, I'm a very curious person. I, my parents were incredible. From an early age, they would ask me not just what I'm doing, but why I'm doing. And that slight distinction from, from an early age really got me thinking, why, why am I doing this? But it's because I like to capture ideas. I like to bring people together. And in painting this piece with all of our words, I've made it more lasting. We'll have the photos and the videos, but to have a visual representation of what we all said, I believe, is very important. Now, I couldn't actually find Feroz earlier today, so he, I didn't actually run this idea by him, but I want to give him a little bit of a surprise because I believe that we are all part of this. And because you are all part of it, I want to say my thank you to all of you in a kind of crazy idea, but I would like to send this as a digital file, a digital JPEG, to everyone in attendance here today as a thank you <laughs> for you to print, for you to post, for you to do whatever you want as a symbol of being part of this beautiful, beautiful event here. Because I believe that your environment has a huge effect on who you are and who you become. 
That's why I paint murals all around the world with positive colors, bright colors, positive words, geometric designs. I believe that our environment can influence us. And if we're surrounded by those, they will seep into us. Because our diet is more than just what we eat. It's the people we talk to. It's the articles we read. It's everything around us. That is our diet. And if you surround yourselves with positive words and beautiful, bright colors, it gives you new life. It gives you new energy. I was very fortunate a few years ago to find my life's purpose, to spread love and positivity through art and education. And that came about very specifically right as I met my now incredible wife who's here with us today, Sherry Ann Santini. We just celebrated our two-year wedding anniversary. Thank you to everyone who's made it really special. But in finding that purpose, I was allowed to find that purpose because she and my family and friends told me it's okay to fail. It's okay to try something new and to go out there and figure it out. And if I didn't make it commercially possible, if I didn't make a job out of it, if I failed and it never reached anyone, that was okay. And that's a core message that I, I bring to the students I teach around the world. That's a core message I want to share with you today. Because I truly believe that if you dig deep and you try to figure out your true self, you're honest with yourself, and you understand your deepest passion, and you pursue it personally, professionally, however you figure it out, I believe if we all do that, we create a more beautiful and a more creative world. Because I've traveled the world. I've done this at the United Nations General Assembly, listening to earpieces, to corporate companies around the world, to charities, and I've come to realize there is one absolute truth. And that is, we are all part of the same consciousness. We are all the same, we are all different, and that is beautiful. That inspired my messaging of unity and diversity, which was the name of my first solo show in New York City, which has become a really big mantra of mine that I try to express. We are all different. When I hear the word differences, to me, I think we are all different. I accept that. I understand that. And it's in, in understanding that, that we become individual, we become unique, and that is awesome. And so today, I want to leave you with this. Just like we are all part of the same piece here today, we are all part of this event. We are one, and it's sometimes easy to lose sight of that when we have differences socially, economically, politically. But if we can deduce the similarity between us, I believe we build together a more inclusive world. And I want to leave you with a little blessing that I came up with that I say before dinner every single night with my family back in the US, who I miss very dearly. But the, the saying is, may we give more than we take, may we lead more than we follow, may we bend more than we break for a great day and better tomorrow. Keep creating, keep inspiring. Thank you so much. Woo!